previously on okay I am here and of course of course yes that's that's beautiful so oh oh shit oh oh my ass got handed to Everything chill? you okay morning sleepyhead had to run didn't want to wake you left you some breakfast eat up Get out of here, she made me some food? Oh my god, that, that is so sweet. Oh no, why is my relic always malfunctioning at the moment where I just don't want it to malfunction? That's like so depressing to be honest. Like I get it, V's dying, but do I really need those constant reminders of how the relic is slowly eating her out? And not even in, in a fun way either, like dead ass. Hey V. V. We got something for you. Nancy! Don't know if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Get the hell out of here. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whispered Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. How are you feeling ahead of the show? Weird. Like, I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. Well, you know what? He's right there next to you with that little smug look on his face, so he knows. How about you tell me what happened with Henry? <sighs> Ancient history. Kept falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. Got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together, things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. What happened next? You get off on this sort of drama? He ditched me, partied with his new pals for a month. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street, total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect. A tug at my heartstrings. Wow, what he's you do? a manipulator. Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. Thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. Well, speaking of Carrie, where is he? Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Okay, bet no pressure at all. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly, got no idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. You think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? He any good? He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again? Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big nut. I got a feeling Nancy didn't think I can keep up with them. Well, she's right. Hmm. That's funny. All right, well. I don't know. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Now you mention it? Yeah. It's getting I know. worse. Maybe this gig isn't worth it? Fine. Go out and play. I'll just sit back, tend to my bleeding ears. <sighs> okay, fine. You got me. Have fun. All right, this should be pretty good. Living out his old rock star days. Ooh, shit. 
Whoa. V, are you okay? Ooh. Am I Johnny? Hey, there's me. Yeah, I'm Johnny. Carry. Yes. This is Drowson from Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed that. Chill, She's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shaking under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Craig got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. <laughs> and missed you too. Damn, this is a nice piece, man. I wish I had a guitar like All this right. in real life. Let's do this. Oh, that's the tuners? That's pretty cool. Okay, Carrie! Yo, look at this shit! I'm playing! Oh my god, bro, I'm excited! Oh, look at the crowd, they're loving it! Ooh. I'm really feeling this song, bro. Like, this shit's heavy. I love it. I'm glad I picked her instead of Henry, bro. Look at her playing on the drums. Nancy on the keys. This movie on the bass. Carrie stinging his heart out. Oh my god, this shit is heavy. I love it. Yo, look at the guy in the front. He is vibing. I love this. Hey. Oh my god, this is sick. I love the energy in this room. Oh yeah. Yeah, we need a six photo for this shit. Damn. You know what? If I could get the notes to this solo, I would definitely practice it and play it. Cause this shit is so sick. Oh shit! Go Carrie! Get it! Damn. Hey yo, this this is a pretty sick band. This is fucked up. What is? Actually, uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was... have a good time. That's it. Wanna do it again? Huh? No. That was enough. In that case... Here, take it as a souvenir. Oh, Johnny, you're so sweet. You sure? Look at Carrie. Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here, but I still plan on playing. Oh shit! Shred that shit, bro. Whew. I had fun, man. That is so sick. You want to hear a new 
Johnny. Ugh. He's gone, isn't he? Yeah, he is. It's just my yeah. movie. Yeah, but he can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Whoa. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. <sighs> that was the gig. Hello, Preem. <laughs> Samurai's found its new growth. Damn shame I had to miss it. Eh, you can still come to my show. Sure, I'll take the offer. No, you shouldn't have. Really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And earlier... And... Never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work, then. Take care, V. I'll be in touch. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's gone off. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. A little of that could go a long way. <sighs> Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. Let's go. Hey V, just wanted to update you on Randy. He's slowly, sorry, he's slowly easing back into things. It's hard to believe. Hard to believe, but it looks like everything's going to be all right. You can't imagine how grateful I am. I'm sending you a still of Randy. I hope it won't be long before he can thank you in person. Aw, that is so cute. Look at the two little kids with Randy and River standing there awkwardly. That's cute. Hey V, hope everything's alright with you. Thanks for dropping by, I had a really good time. Thanks for inviting me, I had a nice time too. Your family's awesome. I just love how, well, my family thinks I've got an awesome friend. Aww, that's cute. Hey V, I'm gonna go visit Randy in the hospital. I wanna buy him a present, got any tips? How about a new record? Some fresh tunes might cheer him up. Yeah. Anyways, I just love how... Let me see. Joss says, hi. You have no idea how nice it is to see her smile again. Thanks for everything, V. You should come over again soon. Next time I'm buying dinner, see you. I love how with Cyberpunk... Getting text messages and calls from the characters you interact with definitely helps to make this game a lot more immersive. So I really do appreciate that detail. Now I know V wants to keep on going with the main quest, but like I mentioned a few videos back, at the moment I'm actually more interested in doing the side quest since I want to at least get rid of a couple of side quests as fast as possible. So I'm going to take a break from doing the main quest for now. But starting in Season 6 of my channel, I will definitely go back to only doing the main quest. That way I can actually get the story more progressed even more. Alright, so... Hostile area. I already know what's about to happen. I'm doing the quest where I'm trying to find the cyber psycho, and apparently there's one in here. The hell is this? Hey, look. Well, well. Quantity of blood in indicates deep wounds, traces of alcohol present. Okay. 
Dear client, we regret to inform you that your trauma team policy has expired due to lack of payment. How awkward. Damn. Please remember to activate your card immediately <laughs> so we may continue to keep you healthy and safe in life's most dangerous moments. How can he if he's dead? You can't afford to hesitate when your livelihood is at stake. Fuck off, trauma team. That is so dirty. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this... This was one hell of a fight, I can tell. Now, question is... Where's Big Boy here? What the hell is this? Okay... Oh no! Oh no! Oh hell no! Great. Okay, okay, you need to stop, bro. Like, I'm sorry this has to end like this, but I am in no way, shape, or form trying to get my ass killed by you, so... I'm gonna cut away as much as possible, as fast as possible. Damn, I'm good. What the hell is this? Drugs? A drug inhaler? Okay. More bodies. Holy cow. This bitch was just killing random people. What the hell? But then again, that's what happens when you put in illegal implants into your system, so... Arch, conversation, Hoof, and Sanders. Hoof. Today is your day to clean up after Brick's pet, or else the boss man finds that we made a rabid dog out of the corpse he wanted. Sanders. I swear to fucking God, he makes more messes than he cleans up. Hoof. It's kind of like having our own trained cougar, or some shit. Sanders. For real, even howls and growls and shit so much, I can't sleep. What the fuck you do that he screams so much? They're basically talking about this person like they're a, a legit animal and it's so sad. Hoof. Just showed him what happens when you stand up to Royce. It was Dor's idea to strip out his old chrome. Plus, we beat his face like it was a fucking ski-filled piñata. Can't really talk to no more. Just howls like the traitor bitch he is. But that means you gotta grab the mop and clean up all them fleshy bits and blood he leaves lying around after dealing with our problem customers. Gonna stink it up in here soon and scare off all the eddies. Sanders. Then get them inside and away from the fucking trash cans already. Ain't complicated. That is so sad. And this is where it happens, huh? Crazy shit. Real crazy, crazy shit. I don't think there's anything else, is there? Maybe? Read the co I already... Wait, Arch, Conversation, Brick, and Alice. Alright, I'll read that too. Let me... Find that. Nope. It would be an inventory. Right? No. It would be somewhere. Don't mind the weapons. I know. I would be the one to have that. Backpack. Okay, where is... Okay, journal. Journal. No. First of all... How? Hold on. Oh, okay. I totally forgot, but... I totally forgot where to access the shards, but it's over here, so... Duh. Alright. Um, where is the... Or where is the shard that the... 
that the quest wants me to read. Ah, right here. Ellis, what the fuck are we going to do, Brick? Got a bad feeling Royce wants to fuck you in the ass, and he's got the people that back him. We gotta do something. I like how Ellis is just so casual with this. Like, what the fuck? Brick, where the fuck have you been? I'm a hundred percent. I'm a hundred fucking percent sure he's gunning for my reins. I've been a walking corpse since yesterday. My advice to is to get the fuck out while you can. Ellis, you're rolling over. We have people too. Jesus, Brick, I'm not gonna work for that rusty cum stain and that fucking psycho douche smirk of his. Brick, don't write that kind of shit, L. You believe in me so much. Believe me when I say, you gotta get the fuck out. Ellis, oh, fuck you. Shit your shorts all you want, but I won't let Royce get away with this. Alright, that's cute. Let me go and hit up Regina. Uh, message? Yeah. Right here. It was a gang dispute. The guy was one of Brick's people. Try to take revenge on Royce. You can guess how his solo attempt at a vendetta planned out. Got pumped full of drugs, tortured, and made into this wild attack dog of a bouncer. Had to flatline him, but honestly, I doubt there was much left to salvage of him on the mental end. I see. Looks like he's not the only wild attack dog in this story. What the hell is going on? I hope I'm not walking into some trap or some kind. Then again, the name of the quest is called... Oh, come on. So I assume you're the Phantom of Night City or some shit? Oh, 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 oh shit. No, 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 no. I hate when they do that stuff. Okay, so what, he goes invincible and attacks people? As if, as if I'm gonna let you go and try and... The Ooh, hell is what this? the hell? Yo, what is this? I thought I had him close to death, but he just dipped. Okay, so a Tiger Claw gang member, of course. Another gang member. Cute bike. The hell is that box though? Okay. I'll take the whole thing, I really don't care. Alright, so this cyber cycle's different. He is literally super powered psycho at this point because of the fact that he's able to disappear and reappear again okay got two bouncers here whatever Ooh, bro listen you need to stop bro like you need to stop killing people this ain't it okay shit what do you want me to do like i can't i can't sing kumbaya with him he's gonna kill me it's like how he killed all those other tiger claw members Oh, okay. Next. You too, buddy? Oh, oh my god, his head flew. His head flew. I didn't mean to do that, but they came at me. What do you want me to do? Alright, so search the area to collect information. Okay, conversation between Julia and Norio. Norio. Was in an op with the new boss today. His skills leave a lot to be desired compared to Soda's veracity. Job wasn't clean at all. Took a couple cuts to finish off some of the six streeters. Painful to watch. Julia. Why didn't you help him? I know you could have finished him off before he even managed to draw his blade. Norio. Why don't you give him a chance to prove himself? Julia. Huh. Maybe it's good he got some practice. Soda always made that the top priority. Nurio. 
Yeah, but he ruined the shirt you gave me. Besides, I don't feel any kinship with him. Julia. Don't worry, you'll get a new shirt for our new life away from this failing gang. Nurio. Hmm, think a new shirt would come easier than a new life, but I guess we'll see. Sure, I hope I'm wrong, though. Ever since I started working on my Zen, my insight's been much, much stronger. Why are you wiggling like Jello, bro? He is wiggling like Jello. Anyways, let me see if there's any other information. I could have sworn I saw a shard over here. So. All right, so this is another this is a different conversation between Norio and Dr. Colin. Norio. Hey, those pills you sent me stopped working, but don't worry. I found another way to deal with everything. I found my zen, and now all those tragedies are like water under the bridge in my garden of peace. Doctor. What about the blackouts, the gaps in your memory? You're not sounding much better. Actually, you sound a bit worse. Nurio. No, no, it wasn't memory loss. I freed my consciousness now. Well, then I was somehow shot off that present. I had a test of people for they... For they had stopped being present as well. They can't sense the killing, the murderous intentions in the air. Doctor, um, what sort of test, and why is there blood on Dokugo? What's going on? Norio, I read about the Saki test. I wanted to see if Soda's and Julia's deaths could have been avoided. <gasps> oh no, Julia died? Oh my god, that sucks. Doctor, Okay, and what's this test? Did everyone pass? Norio. You have to sense your approaching doom and react accordingly. Unfortunately, none have passed the test so far, so I think I found the cause for all my suffering. But I still hope, and I will continue my test. Doctor. You killed people from your own gang? Norio, put the books down and take your meds. He was just testing these people and they failed? The hell? I mean, I'll take the... The money, but... Oh! Another conversation. Let me see about this one. This is between Masaki and Taki. Taki. I was collecting goods from the drop spot and think someone's out to ambush us. Masaki. Only the supplier and us know about the spot, and he doesn't look the type to set up an ambush. So get a grip. Taki. I don't know. I got this feeling like someone was watching me, like something bad was going to happen. Where I stood in that dark tunnel, I had this sudden feeling like someone was right behind me. Masaki. It's in your head. You probably just heard your footsteps echoing and some scary shadows. Look, I get it. I'll be nervous too if I thought our spot was compromised. Taki. I checked and all I saw was Norio standing behind me. Didn't say anything, just looked. Then it was like he vanished into thin air. Wow. Wow, this is really sad. All right, let me message Regina about the Phantom of Night City. I swear, this girl is giving me so much jobs to do. Alright. Norio's dead. The air of murder must have gotten to me. An air of murder, or Saki, as Fromm calls it in his book, Zen Buddhism and Psychoanalysis. The old samurai masters were uncanny in their skill at sensing incoming danger. Clearly, this ability didn't pass down to the Tiger Claws, a price they paid dearly for. Some folks, like Norio, need to know the cause behind everything. He searched high and low for Julia's killers until he found them. At least he didn't die with lingering doubts.
Do I enjoy the Cypress the Cyper Cycle quest? Yes, I do. Very entertaining, to say the least. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.